Hi, in this video we will see about another interesting problem which is finding the duplicate number and a given n plus 1 integers. Here given an integer numbers containing n plus 1 integers where each integer is between 1 and n. Here n is inclusive. Prove that at least one duplicate number must exist and assume that there will be only one duplicate number and we need to find the duplicate number. Here for example if we are given with the input 1 3 4 2 2 we need to find the 2 because 2 is duplicate here. We will see another example which is 3 1 3 4 2. Here the output is 3 because 3 is the duplicate number and we are given with a note you must not modify the array. The input array is read only and the space complexity must be order of 1 and the runtime complexity must be less than order of n square and there is only one duplicate number in array so for this we will use Floyd's tortoise and hare cycle detection algorithm the motivation for this solution is coming from linked list cycle 2 i already have a video about that in my channel the link of which i gave in the description here the Floyd algorithm consists of two phases here we have the input values as 2571893476 First, we will initialize the fast and slow pointer, that is the tortoise and hare pointers, to the index 0. And for each iteration, we need to move the tortoise or the slow pointer one step and the fast or hare pointer two step. The hare which moves faster will be the one which is going to the cycle first and it will be caught in the cycle. Then the tortoise or the slow pointer comes in and this will meet at some point. This is the phase 1. Here we are starting at the index position 0. At the index position 0, we need to navigate to the index 2. Here the tortoise and the hare are at the index position 0. The tortoise can move only one step in each iteration, whereas the hare or the fast pointer can move two steps in a single iteration. The tortoise pointer moves only one step, so it reaches the index position 2. Whereas the hare pointer moves to the index position 2 and from there it moves to the index position 7. At the end of the first iteration the slow pointer is at the index position 2 and the fast pointer is at the index position 7 and the corresponding values are 7 and 4. The value of slow and fast is not same so we are continuing with the second iteration. In the second iteration the slow pointer moves to the index position 7 and the fast pointer moves to the index position 4 and then it moves to the index position 8. So at the end of this iteration the value of slow pointer is 4 and the value of fast pointer is 7. In the third iteration the slow pointer moves to the index position 4 which is 8 and here the fast pointer moves to the index position 7 and from there it moves to the index position 4. Now we can able to see both slow and fast are in the same index value 4 and both slow and fast will have the value 8 and we found the intersection point. Here one key thing to notice this intersection point is not the start of the cycle. Here the cycle is 4, 8, 7 and 4. We are going from 4 to 8 and from 8 we are going to 7 and from 7 we are going to 4. So this is the cycle. From this animation we can be able to see the fast pointer is the one which reaches this cycle first and it gets caught in the cycle and then the slow pointer comes and we can be able to find the intersection point. This is the phase 1. I am getting rid of the fast pointer. Here I am introducing a new slow pointer again from the starting point. So now we have the slow pointer pointing at the index position 4 and the new slow pointer which is pointing at the index position 0. Now for each iteration, we are moving both these slow pointers one step. At the iteration 1, from the index position 0, it reaches the index position 2. The value of the newly introduced slow pointer is 7. The old slow pointer goes from the index position 4 to the index position 8. So the value of the new slow pointer and the old slow pointer are 7. So the result or the duplicate value present in this array is 7. And here we will see one of the interesting points. What if we have a isolated cycle? That is if the index and the pointing index are same. 
for this i'm taking this example 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 here each and every index value is a isolated cycle here one is isolated cycle till 9 everything is isolated cycle at any point we are starting from the index position 0 and we can't have the value 0 assigned to it and we know that the array won't have 0 in it so if the array has 0 in it this algorithm won't work for example if we have the index position 0 pointing to 0 then both the fast and slow pointer will be stuck at that point even if the zero is not a duplicate, we will get zero as answer. So this algorithm won't work if you are allowed to have zero in our array. Here we are starting at the index position zero. At the index position zero, the slow pointer moves one step. So it reaches the index position five and then the fast moves to the index position five and then it get caught in the isolated cycle. So here it again goes to the index position five. So now we can able to see slow and fast pointers are pointing to the same value which is 5. So 5 is the intersection point. Now I will introduce a new slow pointer again starting from the index position 0. So from there we will move this new slow pointer one step. So it will reach the index position 5 and the existing slow pointer which is already in the index position 5 will get caught in the isolated cycle. It will remain in the same index. Both the slow pointers are pointing to the same value 5 so the duplicate value is 5. So this is how this algorithm works. We can't have 0 in the given array. The array should not exceed n and it should not have more than one duplicate. These are all the key things to be considered when we are using this algorithm in any other problem. We will see the implementation in Java. As I mentioned in the algorithm, both the slow and fast pointers are pointing to the index position 0. Here we are using do while because the phase 1 iteration must be executed at least once because the slow and fast pointers are pointing to the same index that is 0th index. So both slow and fast pointer will have the same value. Here for each iteration I am moving the slow pointer one step and I am moving the fast pointer two step. Once this iteration completes we will get the intersection point. Once we got the intersection point, both fast and slow will be pointing to the same index value. Now we need to retain only one pointer because both slow and fast pointers are pointing to the same index. I am retaining the fast pointer. In the phase 2, slow and fast pointer will be moving only one step in each and every iteration. I am pointing the slow pointer to the index 0. Here for phase 2, I am using while loop here for each iteration we are moving the slow and fast pointer only one step and once we have the same value assigned to slow and same value as a fast then we are returning either the slow or fast because that is the duplicate value so this is floyd's cycle detection algorithm thanks for watching this video and subscribe to this channel for more upcoming coding entry questions and the topics on programming